England at Twickenham yesterday. This 15 given a vote of confidence by Jack Rowell after the convincing win over Italy. But a much bigger test in store for the likes of Gomesall and Sheesby, who'd starred the week before. And no Zinzan Brook, little or bunts in the centre, no Cronfeld or Dowd, but just about a shadow or black side and a first chance for an English crowd to see Christian Cullen, perhaps the most exciting runner in the modern game. A capacity crowd, commentators Bill Beaumont and Nigel Starmer-Smith. The roar of the 75,000, the game's underway. An interesting shout there by uh, Andrew Mertens that normally you'd expect them to kick the ball as a judge, but he was looking immediately to get his backs in play. But uh, looking at the lineups, England certainly have the advantage in height and they'll be looking to exploit this. Yes, the size of Simon Shaw, six foot nine, he's opposed by Ian Jones and Robin Brook for the All Blacks. England's throw inside the Barbars 22. That's a lovely leap by Simon Shaw through the back row of England. About 15 metres out, Gummersall, Rodva, great tackle by Blowers. Gomesall again with his cat. Testing ball for Cullen waits under the post. England there in numbers. He bounces not particularly kindly, but is Brook offside. It's a knock on. And England have the penalty. Lovely kick here by Mike Cat. And we see that the ball is knocked on there by Cullen. He's picked up in the offside position by Robin Brook, the New Zealand second row. And that's why the referee gave the penalty. Took his time, but measured steps and a measured kick to give England a great start with just two minutes played. They lead 3-0. Brook first, and it's taken away by Rockbuck. England have it back to catch. That's in field. Lomu's there. Can he run through them all? Not this time. Good effort by Martin Johnson initially to stem in. Merton stands off, but it's Marshall feeding Michael Jones. One of the great open sides now, blind side. Jeremiah. England covering well, tackling firmly. Marshall switch again. Stensness. A lot of space there. Gummersall covers. Stimson two to cleverly plays ball. Cullen pass. It's still there. Gummersall missed, Stimson scrambled it to touch. Still pressure, Vindiri takes it quick and Robin Brook to score. Well, Vindiri may have perhaps still been in the field of play, but the try is given. Robin Brook, the second row, has scored the try. There must be a question here about the position from which the ball was thrown in. He's only, he's got the foot in field, and I think uh, the referee must have missed that. Well, he certainly did miss it, Nigel, so he gave the try. But really, uh, we're putting a foot in touch there that uh, he should have brought them back for another line out. She's being rubbed up behind him. Shaw and Martin Johnson there, one from the tail. Worked well. Tremendous drive into the 22. Gumbus will wait. Cat looks at the drop goal. It's pulled just left. By a whisker, it misses. See it here, just look at the New Zealand defences there that forced Cat to take the drop. Sheesby pops it up, Gummersall with Simpson right side, inside and past Randall. Powerful effort by Simpson. 15 metres out, Cat is there at pace. Carling slips the tackle, Adebayo for the corner. and Stensness across. So nearly an England try here. He did well. Adebayo on the outside. Here's Stensness across, so that's a try-saving tackle. Couldn't quite reach for it as the Barbarian turns the England winger. England have the scrummage ball. Back row take it with Sheesby. Round comes Shaw, rolling it off. Ten metres out to Gummersall. Catch. He's half through. Intercepted by Jeremiah. So close again to an England score. Jeremiah just saved the day and Marshall clears the lines. 
but no shortage of enterprise from England and uh, just missing out at that final moment, the last pass, the last touch. And here we see that Mike had a lovely break there. Thought the Glanville just can't hold it. Jeremiah there, first thing he does, look for his forward. Charging in the line out. Penalty, New Zealand Barbarians. So here's Mertens, trying to make it 8-3. Well, no surprise in that. Winger and full back, kicks towards uh, Lomu, takes it, gets up a bit of speed, he's away, but the pass intercepted by Will Carling, now Adebayo. Lomu really getting up ahead of steam there. Hasn't had a great 86, he's uh, suffered quite a few injuries and illnesses. This is Simon Shaw wrestling possession back for England. Gummersall, Cat, Carling missed, rather loose pass, Slyco trying to make something of it, a bit isolated, she's been there in support though, good mobility from the number eight, Gummersall, Cat again, chip and chase, Cullen, it's awkward one for the fullback, unlucky as it was bounced up, there's upside, came forward off New Zealand Barbarian, See how the ball came off there, the foot of uh, Cullen and the forward, as in, uh, well, as in uh, times of old. Decided if there's a loose ball, I'll grab it. That looks good. Excellent. 8 6, 32 and a half minutes played, and England stay very much in touch. Channeled by Sheasley, away by Gummersall, Cat, Phil de Glanville, Mertens with the cover tackle. But well set back again, Delalio to Sheasby. Storming, paging run again. Now to Rodber. Rodber can't get the feed. Lovely pick up by Martin Johnson. Inside the Barbarian 22. It was knocked on though, it's advantage to the Barbars. Mertens, good hands. And adventure to Stensness. Intelligent kick. Still in play. They all miss. Great pick up. Slight home. Adebayo across. That's good work from the left wing. Covering across to the right. Gummersall. Catch. Huge pass. Carling. Up the middle for a little bit. But big man in the way. Gummersall. England still taking it to them. England advantage, Sheesby, and no reluctance of England to take them on, head first, Jason Leonard, no advantage for the initial penalty for the offside, the fact is actually indicated I think for going over the top about 30 seconds ago by New Zealand, and so a penalty to England, and a chance here for Mike Katz to give England the lead with about a minute and a half to go of this first half. If, if, if Cat was to kick this, then certainly I think England would be very happy to go into half-time with a lead because for the middle 20 minutes of the half, the New Zealand has had them on the rack. Here England have a chance to take the lead. What a great kick. Inspiration surely for Jack Rowell and his men as they come up to half-time. They lead the New Zealand Barbarians now. England nine. The Barbars eight. May not be New Zealand All Blacks, but it's pretty close to that. 
and England lead 9-8. The challenge laid down to them to show their class and worth against many of the best in the world. Katz with the huge kick, but not the touch he was looking for. Cullen ever a threat. To slide, seemingly glides through tackles to Jeremiah. Jeremiah again slips a tackle, two tackles. And on it goes with Michael Jones. Katz taken a knock. New Zealand Barbarians run. Loose pass from Marshall. Mertens. Still Mertens. Change of pace. Here's Blowers. Blowers for the corner. No, unstoppable. Andrew Blowers for new Michael Jones on the open side. And there's telling pace and determined running. Again, he came from a loose kick. Bad pass there by... Marshall, but Mertens had got run through the heart of the English defence. Difficult for forwards to tackle backs when they're running that quickly at them. But Blowers, once he gets it, no doubt about this one. Just look at the pace there for the young open side. No problem at all for the score. Just 21, he's been capped twice. First against South Africa in the Tri Nations. This is Andrew Blowers with the headgear and the handoff and the power and ultimately the glory. Zealand again, Marshall, good effort from Simon Shaw, doing his share of the tackling, and finally, as it goes to the ground, New Zealand Barbarians pour down on the top and can see the penalty, quickly taken by Gummersall, Rodber to Sheesby, steps into that characteristic Ripley-like gallop, Gummersall again, Bellalio this time, makes it available well to Katz, Katz slips it on to Glanville, They're calling for it on the near side, but Delalio goes to the right. England get ever closer through the legs of Leonard to Gummersall. Slug home to the corner and the try. Three in three games for John Slight home. Celebrations in the stand and Slight home restores the lead to England in spectacular, determined style, clinical finishing this. It's good work here by Andy Gummersall, he goes to the blind side again, but poor defence by Jonah Lomo, he comes off his line and he gives Slight home the run into the line, to the word Lomo now, he should have stayed out with Slight home, but doesn't he take this well, gets down low, drives in over, he's had a good game this afternoon. It's good vision here by uh, Gummersall, and the power of Slight home defeating the efforts of Christian Cullen. No problem. For the man who actually didn't play any rugby till he was uh, more than 15, so... Those of you who haven't taken up the sport yet, matters not. There's plenty of time. Whether you're at a rugby playing school or no. So England tails up, a point ahead. Rodber, not the first good line-up ball he's won. Roundtree, drafting hard. Catch. Knocked back clever by De Glanville. Back inside the 22. England storming through again. Cut. Shaw. Cut. Just recovered it. Seven metres out. Gummersall. De Glanville. Lots of red shirts that way. She's beat. Wrestling like a prize fighter. Within five. The drive on by Leonard. Still there for Gummersall to catch. Long feed, Delalio, man over. Carling! Yes, Simpson! What timing of a pass by Carling! A double whammy for England. The follow up of Slight Holmes' try by Simpson with his first for England. See Mike Cat there, Lawrence Delaneo, great hands there, but Carling the strength here, but Simpson, good angle of run there, running straight up to the ball, great try. Don't underestimate this man, Carlos Spencer. We have a final quarter to play as Robin Brook breaks off the line out, past Delaneo, the setup outside England's 22. Mika. Spencer, back goes Adebayo, but there's already a penalty call, advantage being played. And an offside at 
that uh, referee Clayton Thomas have been playing advantage from is the reason and the crowd disappointed because here's a chance to level it if Sean Fitzpatrick decides to use the kicker well he's just lost uh, Andrew Merton so here's the first touch of the ball for Carlos Spencer giving New Zealand Barbarians the chance to make it 19 all cool as you like with his first kick it's 19 apiece John Fitzpatrick, captain of New Zealand since 92. And he'll not uh, concede this till the final whistle is blown. Carlos Spencer, dummies to Jeremiah, Lomu on the switch pass, the reverse. Again, the multiplicity of skills out wide. That's a knock on. And it's going to be an offside decision against England. Whilst the crowd will be disappointed, and certainly it looks as though Lawrence Delanio had it pinched a couple of yards there and I think the referee claimed Thomas was quite right Spencer's kick is there with no mistake and New Zealand lead 22-19 less than seven minutes to go Here comes Mika Vindiri, the battering ram roll held by Cat. Justin Marshall again. Spencer flicked off an England player. Gamasol in cover over the halfway, but no escape route. New Zealand ever more determined, even in barbarian colours. Kick through. England try to recover the ball, they need it desperately. But New Zealand have it again. Lomu. Marshall away. Spencer looks for a gap, takes it. Spencer, what a solo effort. This is a brilliant individual score. There's the talent we talked about. Absolutely sensational. As you said, Nigel, sensational was it. Just look there, his dummies inside, and the step off the right foot there leads Andy Gummersall. And in the race to the line, there's only going to be one winner, Carlos Spencer. What an impact he's had since he's come on the field. Here goes Marshall. Vindiri trips as he came inside. Osborne still waits as Marshall feeds wide. Spencer, Stensness, Lomu now. Slight home handled off. Simpson bounced away. Inside is Cullen. Great cover from De Glanville. New Zealand Barbarians not satisfied yet. Nor to England. Gummersall's kick rebounds. Was it off Stensness? Vindiri feeds to Robin Brook. Wide now to Ian Jones. Here's Vindiri to score. To wrap it up in style. No stopping here. Just look at the Paul Hudley skills there. Two second rows there made the pass of India. And once he was on the outside, no stopping him at all. So this England side isn't lying down to Glanville. Cat once more. And again the skipper. Phil de Glanville. Beautiful slide of hand. Can he make it all the way? Phil de Glanville pass Marshall. Looks for support. Not quite to hand. Can England have the last word? Spends their so to clear it. England's final effort. Valiant indeed. A spirited England. They've come out with credit. But we must ultimately salute the magnificent New Zealand barbarians. Yeah, certainly I was, you know, delighted with the commitment of the team. I think um, you know our attitude to the game is exceptional. Um, you know, we we said beforehand we're trying to develop our game and we see probably in, a, in that game there were two or three times where we got to third or fourth phase and we ran out of players really. It was nice to come back here and win at Twickenham. Um, but you know, I think it's hard, hard to assess. They're, they're obviously rebuilding, got a new captain, um, some new players involved and they're trying to rebuild. We've been through that. 
um, and now we've got a, a fairly established team that, that's performing. Um, but I think it's going to take maybe a while for them to, to find the ideal mix of players, and maybe by the end of the, of the Five Nations they'll be you know, set up for 97. Obviously from last week uh, they, they saw me as a, as a player who likes to break and uh, they didn't give me a chance this week and uh, you know every time I touched the ball they, they hit me very hard. It was a good game and I'm uh, delighted with what England tried to do and on occasion succeeded. You know, we're playing very positive football this year and that's a credit to all of them.